So hey everybody, my name is Sarah, I work for Redox. I'm the Director of Sales Enablement at Redox. And I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about the Akuta Redox partnership. So Akuta and Redox met a number of years ago and the focus of the partnership at the time was operations. So our operations team had brought in the Akuta team to learn a little bit more, more about interactions data. So how does our team interact with one another? Where are their efficiencies? Where are they not? So after our operations team worked with the Akuta team, I ended up being the owner of the relationship. And as a part of sales enablement or the sales team, I had a bit of a different perspective that I brought to the table, specifically sales efficiency, sales training, you know, how do we help our sales team run better? And the question that was on my mind that ended up shifting how we worked together was, is the Redox sales team focusing on the right people at the right time? So when we were looking at interaction data before, you know, we're looking at touch points within the company. So why not apply that to a customer setting? The Akuta team helped build out dashboards and reports, helping us understand what prospects we were interacting with over the course of the sales cycle. This is really interesting to us because it helped us vet out some assumptions and also understand where we might not have best known where and when our prospects are coming into the conversation. What we found through this project together was in many of our deals, we were very focused on a technical buyer, leading a technical sale and being in a very specific industry that has a lot of nuances that makes a lot of sense. But for us, that sometimes meant that we were not focusing on our business buyers as much as we could have. So we were able to use Akuda's insights to uncover a few more layers into our sales process, who we interact with, and then from there generate training and process changes to help make sure that we are interacting with the right buyers at the right time. As far as the ROI that we got from the project and working with the Akuda team, we were really able to do a couple things. The first I would say is smell smoke when we aren't interacting with the right buyers. The other is we can take that data and apply it across other populations. So are there instances, and this is a little bit more future facing versus the project itself, but the project just keeps growing because it's been so valuable. Are we engaging the right people, but maybe at the wrong time? When I met the Akuta team, we had actually recently had a layoff. And when I started in my role, it was at the exact same time as I met the Akuta team. So there's a good amount of things for me to learn, both about how to do sales enablement, but also what are the things that the team is doing? What are their behaviors? What are the things that we want to train on that they could improve on? And so there is a, a pretty strong benefit to me as an individual in a new role in figuring out a sort of gap analysis. And this project really did give us something pretty tangible. So something like this, hey, are we working with the right buyers? That's, that's a behavior that we can change and fix relatively quickly. And for me is a nice quick win and it actually translated to a persona project that we took on a couple months later. So there is a pretty strong deliverable that we could take on from all the data and insights that we gathered. I work at a company that is constantly changing. So now I'm taking on more of a prospecting focus. So understanding efficiencies or inefficiencies within our sales team's behavior is also something that you can look at from the first touch point to a customer interaction to the last. So I think that what we'll be doing with this information is really just trying to use it to better understand at an even more detailed level. All of that is helpful in making us be a little bit more scientific. I see the Akuta team as a partner, number one, 100%, but I see any division being able to benefit from the analytics that you're able to drive 